Welcome to the first in a series of free video tutorials um, on the VCE Further Maths course. And we're going to start by going over the core material in the course. Because the way the Further Maths uh, syllabus is worked out is that everyone in Victoria does the core, which is data analysis as the topic. Data analysis. And then there are six modules that make up the rest of the course. But that's too much to go through in the space of a year. So every school only needs to do three modules. And every student only needs to learn three of them. So everyone does data analysis. And then you pick, or rather your school, your teacher will pick for you, three of the modules out of the six. So we're going to go through data analysis first, and then later in the year, I'll one by one go through some of the modules. Not all of them will relate to you because you don't have to fill out all six. You don't have to learn all six. You only have to learn three of them. And you, your school will pick which three they are. So they'll tell you that um, as, as we go along. But data analysis, everyone needs to do. So we'll start there. The core section is broken up again into two separate uh, chunks. And these are univariate data, univariate, and bivariate data. And these are two different types of data analysis. Now, the difference between them, if you think of uni meaning one and bi meaning two, so univariate as in unicorn, which is some sort of horse-like thing which has one horn on the top of its head. That is a terrible drawing. And, or here's a better one, unicycle, unicycle, which is a bicycle that has one wheel and a guy sitting on the top waving. One wheel. By meaning two would, of course, be, for example, in a bicycle, bicycle, we have two wheels. And they are working together in harmony with a dude sitting on the top waving at us. Terrible, terrible drawing. I'm not an artist, you'll get to know. But nevertheless, uni meaning one and bi meaning two. So univariate data is where we're looking at one variable, one piece of information about whatever information it is that we're collecting. And bivariate data is about two variables. So say I've got a group of people and I'm going to collect some data from them and analyze it about how tall they are. So I get my classmates together and I've got some people are 166 centimeters, some people are 165 centimeters, some one person's 168 centimeters, etc. What I've collected up is one piece of, piece of information about them and that is their height. So one variable, one piece of information, this would be univariate data. Bivariate by contrast would mean looking at another piece of data that has a possible relationship. So say I look at their height and I also ask these people how old they are. So this person who is 166 centimeters is 17 years old. And this person is 18 years old. And this person is 15 years old. Now what I might do is say, well, is how tall they are because of how old they are? Or vice versa? Do these have some sort of relationship, i.e. when you're two years old, are you a heck of a lot shorter than when you're 90 years old? Well, yes, there's probably going to be some sort of relationship between height and age. But those are two pieces of information that I've asked my survey people. So I've got two bits working in harmony, which would make it bivariate data. When I just ask one thing about a group, then it's univariate. And that's where we start the course. We start data analysis with univariate data and looking at the ways of analyzing just one block of information. So what is data? Well, data is information. It's measurements. It's knowledge that we have collected up from a group, either a sample or a population. Um, to figure out some information based out of that. So for example, if I gathered up a group of people and I asked them what football team they barrack for, then what I've got is some data. Now one would be a datum. For example, 
you know, this person barracks for Collingwood. That is a datum. When I've got lots of pieces of data together, this person barracks for Collingwood, this person barracks for St Kilda, this person barracks for you know, the Hawks, etc., etc., then these all added up make data, plural. And data is pretty useless on its own until we extract some knowledge out of it and we analyze different pieces of data to figure out are there any trends for example do more people barrack for Collingwood than barrack for St Kilda or do more people barrack for the Hawks than barrack for St Kilda etc etc and then we can introduce other variables like um, do more people in Victoria barrack for Collingwood than in Queensland for example and that would be comparing two pieces of information where they live and who they barrack for and then we can start to, you know, draw conclusions and make decisions about various things based on this information that we've gathered up. And that's the basis of data analysis.